From fantastical creatures to playing with fire, photographer Eric Anderson gives us a glimpse of an imaginary world filled with very real people. There's a group called OC Burn Club, and they, they are the group of individuals that helped me on my last shoot. There's another one in Los Angeles called um, Burn Club, and there's all kinds of little groups around. A lot of them are tied to Burning Man. Once I started kind of hanging out with these people a little bit and taking some pictures and, and starting, starting to realize what you needed to do to shoot fire in such a way that it really shows and captures fire and you see the life and fire and everything like that. And that I was just totally willing to share everything. The group really kind of let me in, gave me free access, um, and then started to collaborate with me on some ideas. So we would come up with a concept. Our first one was um, somebody mentioned something about this technique of throwing showers of sparks with steel wool and then we thought of a warrior with like uh, how would a warrior protect herself and there's an idea of an umbrella and stuff and um, we went through a whole process of doing tests making sure that this would all work and then got the group together and did that shot so then we kind of progressed along. This is storytelling. I mean, uh, a fire always has its own story and um, its own emotion, but usually only the fire dancer can feel it, and some other people in the audience can feel it, but when you actually bring out the story that, that, that you want to see and convey it in a way that's almost like a fairy tale or a picture book, then people can kind of get the, the, the romance of the, of the flame, the, um, the warmth, but no, it's more like the the heart of the photographer. One of the things that was the basis of all the anime culture and Comic-Con and all these places is there's story behind everything. There's some kind of backstory to what's going on, there's some kind of backstory to you know, why the superhero is the superhero. They also talk about damaged characters and you know character flaws and things like that and those are interesting to explore. Okay, we're ready? Part of the concept is, I've been taking pictures for many years. Uh, <laughs> it's almost embarrassing to say. Um, for 35 years, I've been involved with cameras and things like that, and I first started with film. And one of the things that I really like to keep along was that holding the image true, that we're gonna try to do this in the camera, that we're gonna design this shot in such a way that when we have all our effects going and we have the lighting going and things like that, most of the shot will happen when we hit the shutter. It's epic in two directions yeah. though. Oh <laughs> it's just like... Make sure you high five for all. This is what we all call pure play. Um, there's no thought 
when we set up these concepts and things like that of where we're going to use it, what it's going to do and stuff like that, it is pure joy, it's, it's fun, um, and the wonderful thing about it is when you can come together with a group and make a concept happen like that just for the idea of making the concept happen, I think that's one of the essences of art because, you know, you're not trying to do it for a purpose. What we're really trying to evoke maybe is in the end when somebody looks at it, what kind of emotional response they have to the images we create.